Hi there, folks. Welcome to our Vegas Nation Stadium Show, where we provide inside analysis and all the up-to-date information on what's happening with the NFL Stadium set to open here in 2020. I'm Ed Graney, sports columnist from the Las Vegas News Journal. I'm pleased to be joined yet again, our man on all things stadium, Rick Vallada. Rick, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. Okay, so yesterday, huge day. What a historical day. Dignitaries, politicians, important people like yourself. It was the <laughs> topping off ceremony at the stadium uh, down at the site. For those watching, tell us what that meant and why this was so significant that it brought out so many big time people. Well, a, a topping off ceremony traditionally is when the highest uh, location is reached in terms of construction. In this case, uh, they, they put a, a beam in place that would uh, connect some of the ceiling trusses we've talked about for the last few weeks and make it a full ring all the way around the stadium. You can actually see the entire outline of the skeleton of the stadium as it stands right now because they've got that final piece that was put in last week and then this beam that was placed in the, uh, the topping off ceremony, that was like the, the last connector. So it was big. A lot of people uh, like to come out for those types of things. Lots of people were there. All the construction workers who had anything to do with the construction were there. So it was a big event. Did you sign the beam? I did not. You, I, I, because you're a professional and you're a reporter, but you've done more in this stadium than anyone perhaps of Don Webb. I was uh, invited to. I okay. was invited but to. But no, you're I a said, professional. No, I don't think uh, I should. Good for you. Um, besides, okay. what would the Broncos say, think? That's right. Well, you're uh, being a Denver <laughs> fan here. Um, so uh, let's go to the next step now. So it's all, it's all enclosed at the top. I would imagine, and you've talked about this before, the next, one of the next huge steps is the roof. Um, when would that begin and how, what's the process for that? And really, as a, uh, less than a year out now, I guess the danger to it. This seems like this next step is really one of those very tedious and yet very important parts, obviously, to take your time and to make sure it's correct. Right. And they've, they've talked all along on these uh, ceiling trusses about being precise. The precision involved in that is uh, you have to be like right to the exact inch. Same process on this installation of the roof. The reason being is that there are a crosshatch of steel cables that support the, the roof itself. This is an ETFE plastic polymer that's, uh, that makes it look like daylight inside the building. Sort of like the Minnesota Stadium. Right, right. You can so see this, outside and Exactly, beautiful. and it's, it's brightly lit with natural right. light. So uh, this, this crosshatch pattern, again, they have to stretch these cables to the exact length uh, in order to support that, that ceiling. And that's what uh, is, is going to be so difficult. Now, they're doing all that on the ground. So they build it on the ground. That's, that's not, so, not quite as dangerous. Okay. But they do have to build it on the ground. But then when it's completed, then. they'll lift it up. And that's the hard part because they're going to have two cranes on opposite sides of the stadium. They're going to be lifting this to, the, to its resting spot. And then you're going to have to have guys that are up there connecting those, those metal rods to the, the stadium frame. So... It's a, it's a tough job, and it's going to take several weeks to, to, to pull it off. When does it start? Well, I, I imagine they're already starting to work on some of that uh, ceiling uh, inside right okay. now. But um, uh, I've been told that this is probably going to be coming along pretty, pretty strong in September. Okay. So uh, it's going to be one of those things where we're going to have to follow the progress as we have with every other aspect of the stadium. Another huge announcement yesterday uh, came in the form of something you'd reported on before. Uh, it kind of leaked out in terms of copyrights and, 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 and web names and domains, but Allegiant Airlines, the local company, is the title sponsor of the stadium. I want to get your thoughts on that, but before that, yesterday at the ceremony, our own Cassie Soto caught up with President Mark Bedane of the Raiders to talk about Allegiant, them coming aboard as the title sponsor. Here's Cassie with that report. Hey guys, Cassie Soto here with Raiders President Mark Bedane. Mark, a hot but a beautiful day for the Raiders organization. We're not standing on the grounds of the Las Vegas Stadium anymore. We are on Allegiant Stadium grounds. How big of a day is this? I think it's great. We celebrated two wonderful things today. The, the topping out ceremony was planned for a long time, and it's really a testament to the workforce here that's done just an incredible job building that stadium to date. Uh, their, their commitment to safety and their commitment to the project's really been admirable, and uh, the timing just worked out perfectly. Perfectly. We completed the deal with Allegiant. Uh, we said, let's incorporate you into this big event, and they were all for it. Um, I think what's great about it is you have a local company that's supporting the project, and we've seen tremendous support from other local companies and from the fan base here, people buying tickets and suites. Uh, and it's really nice to see that they're out supporting the team, supporting the project, and we're really glad it's a local company and glad that it's Allegiant. All right, Mark. Well, thank you. Look forward to talking to you in a few months. You thank you very much. You. Guys, back to you. 
Thanks, Cassie. Great job. Well, Rick, let's get your thoughts. Uh, Legion comes aboard. You, you knew about it for a while now. You know I'm very happy that I'll no longer have to bug you anymore because <laughs> I was very for fa I'm fascinated about title sponsors, and I can't explain why. Uh, can you give us any details? Well, first of all, what did you think of Allegiant? Why Allegiant? And second of all, what are we talking in terms of years and money? Well, uh, Allegiant Air is, first of all, it's a hometown airline. It's a hometown company. That in itself excited a lot of people because they, they liked the fact that there was somebody who uh, is homegrown here in Las Vegas that is going to have that name on the, on the stadium. So that's, that's the opener. Second of all, a lot of people don't realize what uh, parent company is called Allegiant Travel Company. What they are, they're an airline, sure. Uh, they're like but, a travel agency as well? But, but the, what they do is they sell experiences beyond just the, the air. Okay. So, so they have hotels that they can sell. Uh, they're actually building a hotel in Florida. So okay. uh, there's a, a lot of aspects to Allegiant Travel Company that a lot of people don't recognize. And I think one of the things that most people don't realize is just how profitable Allegiant Air is. They're the, one of the most profitable airlines in the country right now. There, I, had, I wouldn't think anyone would think that. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, those aspects that, that a lot of people don't realize. And over the course of time, they've done a lot to improve themselves. So that's what is the story that I think that Allegiant's going to hope to tell when they say, oh, Allegiant Air, what is that? They can to, explain that. To that point... What do you think the deal ends up being for? Well, uh, we, we've heard 20 to 25 million a year, and uh, it kind of leaked out a little bit yesterday. But does that, it, that uh, goes along the lines of what these title sponsors pay you. Right, exactly. Especially the brand new stadium in Vegas with the NFL coming to Vegas. I've got to be honest with you, this sounds crazy, it's all relative. I thought 20 million was a bargain. Like I've heard as much as 30 some places. So when mm -hmm. I heard 20, I'm like, that's probably a pretty good deal for Allegiant given it's in Vegas, it's the new stadium, billion, $2 billion stadium near the strip. I thought they'd get 30. So if you're saying 20 to 25, it appears that the negotiations went well on Allegiant side. And, and it could be 30, you yeah. know, because we haven't actually been told and I'm not sure that anybody officially will tell us what that is. At some point in time, maybe this will come out in some of the shareholders meetings uh, for Allegiant and we can report that. But for the time being, it's being kept pretty close to the vest. And another thing to remember about this is that it's not just cash that Allegiant is paying for this. This is also in-kind services. And what I mean by that is that they'll be able to use Allegiant planes for charter flights for the okay. team, things like that. Okay. And uh, there, there might be some other special promotions that the Raiders would become involved in that would be able to do that. The other thing that's great for Allegiant is that they'll have some access to the stadium itself on event days so that they can actually promote their products. So this is a, a, a company that doesn't advertise a lot. Right. They don't have to because whenever they go into a small community, they're page one news and they don't have to buy ads as a result of that. People know who they are. Uh, so they don't advertise a whole lot, but with this uh, stadium brand and having that name out there every week for every big event that goes on in that stadium, it's gonna be really something for, the, for that company uh, to be able to expand itself in terms of what how they're recognized in the in the United States. Well, uh, let's stay with this theme for more on the Allegiant uh, agreement to become the title sponsor. Our reporters yesterday again at the event caught up with uh, CEO and Chairman Maury Gallagher. Here's what he has to say. Well, it's a moment in time uh, which I'm a big believer in, and we made a decision to go forward with this, which we're going to look back and say it's one of the best things we ever did. And and hearing our name and seeing it out on the the billboard out there. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. Uh, we're a bit young and we're a little immature for this, but it's such a nice long run between us. Uh, we stepped a little further than we might have uh, otherwise just because of the quality of what the Raiders are, the, the icon, iconic type of stadium, what Las Vegas is. Uh, my opinion, this will be one of the premier facilities in the world. Everybody's going to want to be and come to this place. All right, so there you go. Allegiant is the title sponsor, and uh, I'm sure they're happy about it, and the signage is already up. And away we go there. Rick, okay, what can people expect as they continue to drive by this structure for the next 10 months? Well, uh, a couple of things. One, uh, there'll probably be at least a couple more hundred craftsmen that will be on site. And the thing is, is that we probably won't see them very much. They're not going to be doing a lot outside. They're going to be on the interior doing a lot of the uh, drywalling and that type of thing, preparing the, uh, the first seats to go into the building. Uh, preparing some of those nice luxury boxes that we've heard so much about. The press box, obviously, Rick. It's a very important that's, thing. That's, that's a very important very for important. us, right? Yes. Uh, but then there's some other tests that are going to be coming up. Obviously, the roof is really important to get that totally enclosed and, and uh, free from the elements. Uh, they'll be able to start testing things like escalators and elevators and yeah. air conditioning units and things like that. 
but the one that I'm really looking forward to. Is this where they hide the beer at the bottom of the stadium? That no, you no, want? not that, that one. Is, <laughs> not that one. You've I'm changed talking, on your list of priorities. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking, well, imagine this, Ed. Think about this. They have to have a, a test to make sure that all those toilets can flush properly, and they do it at the same time so they can really? check the water pressure to see if that if it can hold up. That, that, that will be look. something. You get 60,000 people in there with a lot of beer, my friend. The lines will be long. They will as be. As we know. They will be. Thanks, Rick. Great stuff as usual. Listen, before we sign off, both Rick and I want to pass on our deepest condolences to the family of Don Banks, to his wife Alyssa and his sons Matt and Micah. We recently hired Don as our NFL writer here at the Review Journal, and we were so excited to welcome such a professional, a giant in the business of covering professional football. No one did it better than Don. He would have spent many, many Sundays in Allegiant Stadium. Don passed away this week in his sleep while attending the Pro Football Hall of Fame ceremonies in Canton. He was 57. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed the show. And remember, for all your stadium and Raiders news, go to ReviewJournal.com daily. And also check back here at Vegas Nation, VegasNation.com. Also get our app, the Vegas Nation app. We're going to continue to bring you all the shows and all the coverage as the project is built before our very eyes. For Review Journal's Rick Villata, I'm Ed Graney. We always thank you for watching.